Good morning and welcome to another Carp Fix episode. Now I got down yesterday evening and the main reason behind that, I know very little about the lake that I'm fishing and I want to be up nice and early to see where the majority of the fish were showing. I've got the bivvy in the swim already, I'm set up on the fish and we're due some absolutely horrific weather today. So I wanted to get set up ahead of that, I'll meet you in the swim and we'll talk a little bit more about the lake we're going to be fishing. Right, we're in the swim, the bivvy's up, and as I mentioned earlier on, I was up well before first light. And obviously the main reason behind that is to get on the carp, and I know very little about the lake behind me. Now there wasn't loads showing this morning, but there was enough to get me set up in this swim. And the fish that were showing were pretty much straight out in front of me over the deep water. Now you're all probably thinking, well, where are you? So we're here at Norton Disney. Okay, this is Holden's Lake. And this place here, I've done very, very few nights on. Over the four years it's been open, I've probably done two or three nights in the depths of winter. So I've really had little playing sort of time on here. And I'm very much looking forward to getting the rods out. The lake, 11 acres, there's 275 carp in here, and there's 10 swims to angle from. And the fish are very, very nice in colour. As I mentioned, it goes very deep in here, down to about 40 foot in places, and the carp are lovely and dark. So I really am hoping to get amongst a few of them. We've got some horrible weather coming today. It's gonna to pretty much rain throughout the whole day, which means it's gonna probably be a bivvy day, which is not the end of the world because England kick off their World Cup campaign today against Iran. So hopefully we'll get a nice little win in the bag, some nice scaly carp, and we'll go from there. But first thing first, really important, I get hold of my marker rod, get a bare lead out there and find out exactly what we're fishing over so I know exactly what rigs to put out there. Oh. We're all good to go. I had a letter around beforehand as well. Um, and to be honest with you, it was all the same. It was just pretty much gravel from where I am there all the way in. So in them situations, I use bait as my feature, you know, so I've not messed about. I put about 25 spawns in and you're probably thinking that is a fair bit of bait for this time of year. And yes, it is. But, um, you know, I was finding deeper lakes. You know, you've got to get them down to the bottom and that is the only way to do it. I've always found on deeper lakes, you know, that putting a bit of bait in, get some grubbing around on the deck. You need to tell them it's down there. And by putting a little bit in, about 25 spoms or so, it tells them where the food is. And hopefully, we'll get them on the end. But um, the rods are wrapped up, get some hook baits on them, get some rods out. Right, that's the baiting up done. And now for the important stuff, the rig. Now. I've been fishing little sticks now. I've not fished sticks for years, but I tell you what, they really do come into the way when, you know, things are starting to slow down a little bit. You know, a mouthful of food is enough. And like I say, this little presentation here is lethal. And um, in this little stick mix is, um, is packed full of all natural ingredients. So I'm not gonna go in too in depth of what's in there because I like to keep some things a little bit secret, but you know, real proper ingredients, belishing, the krill powders in there, all really, really top ingredients. If they are swimming around and looking for a bit of food, trust me, they will hone in on that immediately. And a little cell hook bait on there, a little cell dumbbell um, wafter. 25 pounds supernatural. I've always found with sticks that, you know, you've got to keep an eye on tangles, but the, hopefully that's what the anti-tangle sleeve there's for. If you can get that little supple rig out there, it's very much like a solid bag rig, you know, they are lethal. And, um, but you'll see this in the air. If it tangles, I'll redo it. But I've had several casts with this before and never had a tangle. So hopefully we'll be all right. The anti-tangle sleeve and my little bit of tube in there will all help aid in a non-tangle situation. Three and a half ounce lead to make sure I get out there perfectly. Like I said, I've got a bit of a crosswind today. And I don't want that sort of wavering in the air. So that's the little rig. I'm not say pack full of attraction. There's not a lot there, but oh, the taste buds, it is beautiful. All right, let's get it out there. Incredible. 
It's like Tesco's finest anchovies and all. All the juice. Right, that's two of the three rods absolutely perfect. Let's get another little bag knocked up and we're good to go. The old clouds are uh, gathering now. We've got a little bit of rain, but get that next rod out, get the football on, get a cup of tea on. Not a bad little afternoon, eh? <laughs>